Welcome home racing fans. Well, before we get started on round one of the cars that just came in, I want to do a brief overview of our series. First of all, this is a 132nd scale series. So now that you know the scale, the second part is it's about oval racing. As you can see, we're building cars based on 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. The local dirt track and asphalt heroes that we grew up with, that's basically what this is all about. So if you already know about these cars, then that's simple and easy. We have links for those of you that want to learn about it in the links below. I'll post some links down there. But that's what this is all about as far as the racing goes and the modeling. And speaking of the modeling, that's basically the third part of this. And really the major part of it is that you can't buy these cars. You have to build them. So we use kits. Um, this is a Gunsy Sanyo kit that you can get off eBay. You know, any of your local shops. Look around for them, you can get it. Or we use Ravel monogram bodies, resin bodies, custom resin bodies that a lot of us made um, that are out there for sale. There's a Pioneer car back there. That's a snap tight uh, 132nd scale car that's been uh, modified to say the least. So we use a variety of bodies um, to get the cars made. Uh, also about the modeling is the chassis. It's brass and steel and it's soldering. It's making your own chassis. I've got nothing against the 3D chassis out there, but this is almost a lost art sometimes. Um, we want to get you to build your own. There's nothing more satisfying than getting that soldering iron out and making your own chassis and seeing it go. And obviously you can see from this car and the rules that we're using the top of the line uh, running gear, everything, um, slotted axles, gears, NSR gears, axles, slotting plus guides just you name it we have the predator motor series piranha series motors um everything is at the top of our our hobby is involved in building these cars so when you get done they are just going to be super smooth and super fun to drive so you know that's really basically what it's all about uh so now that you know about what the cars are the racing is a little bit different and the judging for this proxy is a little different than others. First of all, it's just one track. It's my track. This is a 5x16 four lane oval non-magnet and you know routed wood as you can see and uh, I just hold two races a year. Once in the winter, once in the summer and that's it. So it, the, the cars aren't mailed around the world. They just come here and when we're finished racing we mail them back to you. So there you go. There's your schedule. So basically it gives you six months to build a car from one event to the other. So if right now you're going, man, that looks like a lot of fun. I want to do this. Well, then you have six months. You have July. That's going to be the next race. You're going to have time. Um, as far as judging how we give awards, stuff like that, it's also a little bit different. First of all, let's go back to the modeling. We're going to do a best in show. So we're going to have some voting and we're all going to vote on who really nailed it. Who just put a lot of effort, detail, who just made that car just look exactly like the car you remember sitting in the stands. Best in show. So about modeling, that's part one. Part two is the fast lap challenge. This is what a lot of proxies are about. They put a lot of numbers out there and everything about who's the fastest. So we do that. I'll do a fast lap challenge in this lane. I'll test every single car. Um, I'll post the times and then we'll find out who's king, right? Who's the fastest one? Who's the, who's the car to beat? So you get that award. So if that's all you care about, well, you know, you'll find out real fast. Then the third thing is the actual racing. We have a rotation system with drivers. That doesn't always mean just because you had the fastest car that you're going to win the race. You've got accidents. You've got, you know, it's, it's racing. It happens. So sometimes the fastest car ends up in third place. That's all about it. But we will have a lot of fun with the, with the drivers rotating and running these cars and watching them beat and bang around. It's going to be a hoot, as I call it. So that's what this series is all about. Again, at the bottom here in, in the comments, I'm going to have a link to our rules. And if you're interested in doing something like this, we will do all we can to help you. So 
Anyway, welcome to the showdown, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Welcome, home racing fans. Well, it's time for one of my favorite parts of this showdown, and that's when all the cars come in and we get to see what the, all of you folks have created. It's just so much fun. And up first is our, our veteran, Robert E. Lee, REL13 on the forum. He uh, has always built some great cars over the years for every event. And again, no surprise uh, you know, for this event. First of all, is his new modified. He uses an AMT Snap Tight kit, and he just cuts it up and... Uh, He's not afraid of a Dremel, okay? I can tell you that. Um, really nice work on this car. Nice chassis. Looking really good. Got one impressive drop arm out here. We're going to see how that works uh, on race day and our testing and everything. But well done, Robert. Great to see another modified come in. Uh, and uh, <laughs> this one, uh, his Legends car, is just... Uh, well, nothing short of a hoot, really. I mean, he's done a great job again on this car. It runs great. Chassis is just nice and clean. Um, just like a, just runs like a Swiss watch. This thing is just a, a really nice effort, and I'm, I'm glad to see it. And, oh, boy, here we go. The Hooters car. This Ford, this is just, oh, just well done overall. I mean, the chassis is just nice and clean. Well executed and simple, and that's all we really want. So, wow, Robert, um, great job on this car. I can't wait to test this one. So, thank you, Robert. Now we got a couple of more cars to show you. Things are just going to keep getting better and better. All right, next in is uh, Broman 62 off the forum. I <laughs> oh, every time you build something, it's just super clean super nice always runs good and this is just oh that's one fine ford as they would say um you've done a great job uh on this car sometimes uh, less is more and you really packed it in you know i like the detail uh the interior how you use the uh, original monogram there and the body and how you fit it on there but i have to tell you wow this chassis work is just, well, you know, as clean and nice as it gets. Just, again, we're just doing simple inline brass and, and steel chassis here. And I got to tell you, uh, hats off to you, sir. This is just one cool, th this is just the epitome of a sportsman right here. Um, as a lot of them are, but this is going to fit right in. Well done, sir. Really appreciate the effort. And last but certainly not least, uh, Mark Thomas has sent in his bow tie. And if you guys aren't familiar with Mark and his work, I have to tell you, you're just not going to meet very many people that packs so much realism and in detail into a car as Mark does. And this is just, oh, almost breathtaking. I mean, from the, the tire markings on here, the, the markings on the body, just everything just looks fantastic and then you turn it over at just a very very well executed chassis and this one's a lightweight we've got some steel and brass in here so i'll be very anxious to see um how this thing runs but every car he makes runs good so but yeah the detail level here um just uh these old chevys um you know they were out there we beat beat them up we banged them up and it's just great to see this car. So, well done, Mark. Hats off. Just, uh, uh, just like I said, it's just breathtaking. What a, what a wonderful model. And that's part of what this showdown is is all about is the modeling. And uh, uh, I just appreciate the effort. So, that's our first three. Uh, we're always going to update as more cars come in. Uh, I'll update everyone, and we'll do a series of videos just like this one on everybody's car that comes through. So. Anyway, thanks guys for getting these things in so fast. It's just been a treat today.